Breaking news live, satellites just picked up massive ground movement in the Appalachian Mountains. Experts say if this continues, it could change everything. Okay, this is actually insane. Like, I can't believe this is real. The Appalachian Mountains are moving. Not slowly like mountains usually do over millions of years. Fast, like scary fast. And the USGS just issued a red alert because they have no idea what's causing it. So here's what happened. Satellites doing routine scans of the eastern United States picked up something that should be impossible. The ground in parts of West Virginia, Virginia, eastern Kentucky, and Tennessee has risen 12 centimeters in less than a week. 12 centimeters in a week. To put that in perspective, the Himalayas grow about 5 millimeters per year. These are mountains that are supposed to be geologically dead. They've been eroding for hundreds of millions of years. They're not supposed to be growing, but they are. The first scientists to see this data thought their equipment was broken because this doesn't happen, not in the Appalachians, not anywhere that's supposed to be stable. But satellite after satellite confirmed the same thing. The crust is rising fast. Now, when mountains suddenly start moving, that's usually bad news, really bad news. The Appalachians sit on top of ancient fault systems, fault systems that have been locked for hundreds of millions of years. But if something is pushing the crust upward with enough force to lift entire mountain ranges, those faults could wake up. And we're not talking about little earthquakes here. We're talking about potentially massive seismic events in areas that have never experienced them. Areas where buildings, bridges, and infrastructure were never designed to handle earthquakes. Cities like Charleston, Roanoke, Knoxville, millions of people living in areas that could suddenly become earthquake zones. But here's where it gets really weird. Scientists can't figure out what's causing it. The leading theory is a mantle plume, basically a column of superheated rock rising from deep inside the earth, like what's under Yellowstone or Hawaii. But mantle plumes don't just appear overnight, they take millions of years to develop, and they definitely don't show up under mountain ranges that have been stable since before the dinosaurs. Another theory is delamination. That's when the bottom layer of the crust basically peels away and sinks into the mantle, causing the remaining crust to bounce back up. But again, this is something that happens over geological timescales, not in a single week. The seismic data is even weirder. They're detecting micro tremors throughout the region, tiny earthquakes that are too small to feel, but they're happening constantly. And the pattern, the pattern doesn't make sense. It's too organized, too rhythmic. It's like something is pulsing beneath the mountains. Now, let me break down exactly what the satellites are seeing. We're talking about synthetic aperture radar, SAR, technology that can detect ground movement down to millimeter precision. This isn't some fuzzy satellite photo. This is hard data. The uplift zone covers an area roughly the size of South Carolina. That's massive. And it's not just one spot. It's a coordinated rise across multiple mountain ridges following patterns that align with ancient geological structures. The epicenter seems to be in the central Appalachians around the New River Valley but the effects are spreading outward like ripples in a pond. Gas emissions are spiking too. Springs that have been cold for decades are suddenly warming up. Some are releasing gases that contain elevated levels of helium-3. Helium-3 only comes from one place, deep inside the Earth's mantle. If it's showing up in surface springs, that means something from way down deep is making its way up. And it's not just helium. Carbon dioxide levels are through the roof. Sulfur compounds that smell like rotten eggs. Even trace amounts of radon gas. This is the chemical signature of deep earth processes. The kind of stuff you see around active volcanoes. But there are no volcanoes in the Appalachians. At least, there weren't supposed to be. There were the magnetic readings are going crazy too. Drones flying over the affected areas are picking up magnetic anomalies, the kind you usually see near active volcanic regions. Compasses are spinning. GPS systems are glitching. Some pilots have reported navigation failures when flying over the uplift zone. That's not normal crustal movement. That's something else entirely. Now, the government is being very quiet about this. The official line is that they're monitoring the situation, and there's no immediate threat to public safety. But behind the scenes, they're freaking out. 
I've been talking to sources inside the USGS people who've been studying the Appalachians for decades, and they're scared, like genuinely terrified. One geologist told me this is unlike anything in the geological record. The speed, the scale, the coordination across multiple sites, it defies every model they have. Emergency management agencies are quietly updating evacuation plans. The National Guard has been conducting training exercises in the affected regions. FEMA has been pre-positioning resources. And here's something interesting. Insurance companies have started reclassifying parts of the region as high-risk zones. Property values are already starting to drop in some areas. The locals are starting to notice too. People are reporting new cracks in their foundations. Wells are running dry in some places while flooding in others. Animals are acting strange. There are reports of new fissures opening up in farm fields, springs appearing where there were none before. Even the trees are acting weird. Some are blooming out of season, others are dying for no apparent reason. And the sounds, oh man, the sounds. People living in the affected areas are reporting low frequency rumbles, not earthquakes, just constant low rumbling sounds coming from underground. Some describe it as like a giant engine running deep beneath their feet. Others say it sounds like breathing, deep rhythmic breathing from something massive. Forest rangers are reporting that wildlife is fleeing the area. Deer, bears, even birds are migrating away from the uplift zones. Animals have instincts about geological events that humans don't. When the animals start running, you should probably pay attention. Now, I've been digging into this and there are some theories that the government definitely doesn't want you to hear. What if this isn't natural? What if something is causing this uplift deliberately? I know, I know, it sounds crazy. But hear me out. The patterns are too precise. The timing is too sudden. And the fact that it's happening in multiple locations simultaneously suggests coordination. Some researchers are quietly suggesting that this could be related to deep drilling operations, fracking, geothermal projects, maybe even classified military experiments. The Appalachian region has been heavily drilled for coal, natural gas, and oil for over a century. What if someone drilled too deep and hit something they weren't supposed to hit? There are theories about deep crustal fluids, supercritical water and other compounds that exist under extreme pressure and temperature. If you suddenly release that pressure, well, you could get exactly what we're seeing. Rapid uplift, gas emissions, seismic activity, or what if this is connected to the weird stuff happening at other locations around the world? Because this isn't the only place where strange geological activity is ramping up. Yellowstone is showing unprecedented activity. Mount Rainier is acting up. There are reports of unusual seismic activity in places that are supposed to be geologically stable. It's like the entire planet is waking up and the Appalachians might just be the beginning. Let me tell you about the historical context here. The Appalachian mountains are old, really old. They formed during the assembly of the supercontinent Pangaea over 400 million years ago. Back then, they were as tall as the Himalayas, but time wore them down, erosion, weathering, glaciation, all of it slowly grinding these once mighty peaks into the rounded hills we see today. For hundreds of millions of years, they've been geologically quiet, stable, boring from a geological perspective. That's why this is so shocking. These mountains aren't supposed to be capable of this kind of activity anymore. But what if we were wrong? What if there are processes deep within the earth that we don't understand? Processes that can reactivate ancient mountain ranges? The isotopic analysis of the gas emissions is particularly interesting. The helium-3 to helium-4 ratios are off the charts. This is material that's been locked in the mantle for billions of years. If it's suddenly making its way to the surface, that suggests massive changes in the deep structure of the crust. Some scientists are speculating about mantle convection cells, massive circulation patterns in the molten rock beneath the crust. What if these patterns are shifting? What if new upwelling zones are forming? The implications are staggering. If the mantle dynamics beneath North America are changing, it could affect the entire continent. The new Madrid fault zone in Missouri, the Charleston seismic zone in South Carolina, even the San Andreas Fault in California could be affected if the underlying mantle structure is shifting. 
we could be looking at a fundamental reorganization of North American geology. The really scary part is what happens if this continues. If the uplift keeps accelerating, if those ancient faults start slipping, we could be looking at a geological disaster unlike anything in recorded history. The eastern seaboard isn't prepared for major earthquakes. The infrastructure, the buildings, the emergency response systems, none of it is designed for what could be coming. Most buildings east of the Mississippi were built without any seismic considerations. A magnitude 6 earthquake in Virginia would cause more damage than a magnitude 7 in California simply because nothing is built to withstand shaking. And if the uplift triggers landslides or changes in water systems, the economic impact could be catastrophic. The Appalachian region supplies a huge portion of the country's coal and natural gas. Major transportation corridors run through these mountains, Interstate 77, Interstate 79, Interstate 81. All of these major highways could be compromised if the geological situation deteriorates. The railroad networks that carry freight from the Midwest to the East Coast all pass through the Appalachians. A major geological event here could cripple the entire Eastern United States economy. But here's what really keeps me up at night. What if this is just the warm-up? What if whatever's causing the Appalachians to rise is also affecting other regions? Other fault systems that have been dormant for millions of years. There are reports of unusual activity in other supposedly stable regions. The Canadian Shield is showing minor seismic anomalies. Parts of the Midwest are experiencing unexplained ground deformation. Even more disturbing, similar patterns are being detected in other ancient mountain ranges around the world. The Urals in Russia, the Scandinavian mountains, the Brazilian highlands, it's like something is systematically reactivating the world's oldest geological structures. Climate scientists are starting to worry too. If massive amounts of gas are being released from deep crustal sources, it could affect atmospheric chemistry, carbon dioxide, methane, sulfur compounds. All of these can impact climate patterns. We're already dealing with climate change from human activities. Adding geological sources of greenhouse gases could accelerate the process dramatically. And then there's the magnetic field issue. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron in the outer core, but it's also influenced by crustal magnetism. If large sections of the crust are being physically displaced, it could affect local magnetic field strength. That has implications for everything from navigation to satellite communications to the protection of the atmosphere from solar radiation. Scientists are working around the clock to understand what's happening, but they're running out of time because every day the mountains rise a little higher, the tremors get a little stronger, the gas emissions increase, new monitoring stations are being deployed throughout the region, seismographs, GPS arrays, gas analyzers, magnetic field detectors. The Appalachians are becoming one of the most heavily monitored geological regions on Earth. But monitoring is one thing, understanding is another. And right now, the data is raising more questions than answers. The pattern of uplift doesn't match any known geological model. The speed is unprecedented. The coordination across multiple sites suggests some kind of underlying connection that we don't understand. Some researchers are starting to think outside the box. What if this isn't just geology? What if there are biological or even technological factors at play? I know that sounds crazy, but when the conventional explanations don't work, you have to consider unconventional possibilities. There are theories about deep crustal life microorganisms that live miles beneath the surface in conditions that would kill anything on the surface. What if these organisms are somehow involved in the process? Or what if there are human activities that we don't know about? Classified projects, experimental technologies, things that the government doesn't want the public to know about. The timing is suspicious. This isn't happening gradually over geological time. It's happening now in the age of advanced technology and deep drilling capabilities. What if someone or something triggered this process? What if it's not natural at all? The red alert is still in effect. Monitoring stations are being deployed throughout the region. Emergency response teams are on standby. But the truth is, if this situation escalates, 
There might not be much anyone can do except get out of the way. The geological forces at play here are beyond human control. If the Appalachians are truly reawakening after hundreds of millions of years of dormancy, we're witnessing something that hasn't happened since before complex life existed on Earth. And nobody knows when it's going to stop or if it's going to stop. The implications for human civilization are staggering. Millions of people live in the affected region. Major cities, industrial centers, transportation networks, all of it could be at risk if the situation continues to deteriorate. But maybe that's the point. Maybe this is nature's way of reminding us that we're not in control. That despite all our technology and scientific understanding, we're still at the mercy of forces far greater than ourselves. The Earth has been here for 4.6 billion years. Human civilization has existed for maybe 10,000 years. We're a blip on the geological timescale, and right now, the Earth is showing us just how insignificant we really are. So what do you think? Natural geological event or something more sinister? Are we looking at the beginning of a new era of geological instability? Have you noticed any unusual activity in your area? Strange sounds, ground movement, changes in local springs or wells? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to stay updated on this developing story, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because if the Appalachians keep rising, we're all going to feel the consequences. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.